what's up everybody it's your boy here to 23 and as you guys can tell obviously from the title the background what we are right now we're gonna be doing a creative uh, video just a little quick tutorial something to get uh, you no know, something to help you guys out if you guys are into the whole creative scene I know it's huge right now everybody's been playing it but a lot uh, when I was streaming the other day some of you guys were asking um, and wanted me to do a uh, tutorial on how I made my automated score system so let me uh, go through this real quick I'm not gonna edit anything out we, we're just gonna go with it and see how this goes I'm gonna just throw that down because I just like the way the floor looks that's all so we're just gonna do this Bigger. That should be good for right now. Now next, what you're gonna want to have. Now you don't need to do it in the way I'm placing it. I am literally just placing it down, quick and easy, just so that it's just put down. It's ready. We're gonna need one of those, and then we're gonna get into the devices. You are going to need a few of those. And a few of those now the way that this whole game works now if you guys have not noticed with the whole um, the um what's it called with the uh, music my bad I was mixing that up a bit with these things the music sequencers whatever they're called it's like redstone with minecraft you know how this game the creative mode is starting to turn into like a minecraft type of feature that's just done better in a way that i would say it is it is better it's just it's done better um but you know can't hate on minecraft they paved the way for all games like this so what we're gonna do is so i'm gonna put a wall straight across now what we're gonna want to do say i want to have no, we'll do this because we'll, I'm going off three you can obviously modify yourself if you want it to be more but the way that I'm going to do it so one two three so basically these are going to be your scores and the way that this whole thing's gonna work is I'm gonna wire it up you're gonna see how I do it is I have it on my rock league map when you score it puts a pulse through and it puts damage through every single one of these characters, the AI characters. They cannot respawn. Um, you, I can In the end, I'm gonna modify their health and everything to show you guys how to do it. Um, and basically, what you do is you do that, you modify their health, and every time the pulse goes through, you can have it set so they kill somebody. And the way I have it set is the there's three people. When you score your first goal, it kills the first guy. When you score your second goal, it puts enough damage to kill the second guy. And on the third goal. It puts the rest of the damage that ends up killing the third guy. So they all disappear, and that's how you know you've got all three goals. Now, it can be done with goals. It can be done however you want. Um, everybody has, you know, the ways of doing things. And, in my opinion, that's just the best way to do it. So now, we're going to want to wire this up. So, let me do this. I'm going to do that. So what I'm going to do is... Da, da, da. I could probably do this pretty short, but I'm, I'm gonna just do it extended just so you guys get a better feel of it. So, what I'm gonna want to do is you're gonna want to have the floor come out to the side of this. So, you end up just making it look nice by doing this. Just to make it look a little bit more simpler, if you want to have the goal above. Now this does not have to be a butt like under it or anything. I'm just doing this to be simple. Just to make it simple at the moment. So then what we're gonna want to do. So you're gonna put that. So this is gonna go one, two. You're gonna wanna modify this. That only connects it touches the block. This one. Well, you want to go three. Now the the real cool thing about this is if I put this up here, it still connects. So these blue, even through walls, through whatever, these blue outlined parts here is like the wiring. Almost like redstone. It's like the wiring. You can change the sizes, everything. It's really cool. And so whenever it touches even the, the edge here of this block, it powers it. So 
Oh shit. Alright, so there goes one, two, three. Beautiful. Alright. So you're gonna want that to only go across. You can extend it if you want, just to make sure it does it. And what you want to do on this one that's going to be hitting them is you want to go to damage. And I put my damage on medium. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's medium. I'm not like 100% sure on that, so do not quote me. What we're going to do is... Da, 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 da. I'm going to quickly make this just look a little bit better, a little bit more presentable. Just so you guys get a better feel as to how this will turn out. What's up, cat? Alright, where is the... There it is. So, I, I use this. You could use anything else. It's just, there's no windows right now, which kind of sucks. Really wish there was windows. So, I use this, because can't go through them. One, two, three. That's what I use. Now, you can obviously come in. You hit it with your little effects and stuff. But actually, what I'm going to do... Just remove them for the time being. I'm going to early wish that I could just do this, man, without having to get shit in the way. Alright, now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you guys, just because numbering is always easier, especially for showing for an example, it just makes it easier. So these aren't going to look pretty. There's one. You always want to grab the bottom middle because then it's centered as best as possible. And whenever you want to place this, if you look below where the blue line is connecting, you can try to line it up with the, the line, whatnot. If you push forward on the D-pad, it is going to hit the wall. It's going to push forward. It's going to look completely flat. That's the best way to get it to turn out um, to be straight, smooth. So that's how I figured it's easiest to place these things down. That's why you hear that sound effect, a little whoosh. Now the three is a little bit lower. That's fine. Just so you guys get the whole hang of how this is going to look. Now I can add this on. I can do this. I can grab that. Actually, no, I do need to come in and modify it. So for the first guy, I put on one health. The accuracy is very low. I put a shotgun on. Um, I noticed that you actually don't even need to put anything on. I just put a shotgun on in case they do end up getting shots for some reason. And because it's such a low thing, you can put line of sight, whatever. I put line of sight. Sorry. Put line of sight because you have walls in the way and it's not going to have a line of sight. It's not like a pro player. Or anything where they will see through the wall line of sight type of thing for this guy what I do is I put I ha, I, I don't actually put full health probably should um, but when I was testing I had it just half health and half shield I don't know why I just that's what I was working with the last guy you want to put to uh, full health and you want to have him on half shield that's the way you do it oh, shit have it just like that actually what am I doing because uh, let me go down I'm gonna change things yes so what's gonna do is you're gonna pulse through that's gonna pulse through and when it goes through there it's gonna do the damage so it doesn't matter who hits first, you line it up however you want. And that is basically it. Like that that's exactly how you do it. I'm going to modify this really quick just so um Oh, deleted the two. I guess the two is actually connected with the wall. Huh. So the reason I am breaking this is just so you guys can see real quick because I built it um like if as if I was making it for a game. You see how you don't see the wiring behind. I just built it as if you were making it a game. It would look like this in the front. 
um, you would have this trigger wherever you would please you can place this however wherever you want it does not matter um, so actually I can still do this let me do this all I'm going to do to test it and then when you place this how you're looking at it straight on it's gonna move to the right you can all you can change it but it is going to move to the right There we go. All right, so I'm going to do this real quick. I'm gonna start this up. Just to show you guys how it works and how it's going to end up ending. So actually, there's no spawn. So it should just let me come in. Come down here. See how they can't shoot me? They got the guns out. Oh shit, he did shoot through me. Oh shit! That was crazy. All right. I'm gonna let y'all see this. First guy's dead. That's how it should be. So now you, I, you see how the whole thing works. Now number one is gone. We still have number two. Just the number two has disappeared. Second one. Now he's gone. Now we're down to number three. Whenever you get your next goal. Goodbye number three. So that's how that works man pretty simple video um i figured this out on my own i was trying to figure out because there was a, a rocket league map that got put out the other day i don't know if it was featured but it was just it was on the um the site the other day and i couldn't figure out how the scoring system worked it's completely different from how mine is though his works off of um vehicles mine i actually it's very simplistic super simple probably the most efficient way to do it it's very very um simple very small doesn't take up much and yeah like most of the, like i have twenty five thousand memory used and it's probably mostly from all that shit to be completely honest probably from most of that so you have look it takes you don't even need this one still you see how i took off one little wiring thing and barely moved it um, so it just takes one, two, and three. Or even one if you want. You can have the one just that reaches to trigger this one. But it takes this having to get triggered. The damage I showed you guys. And yeah, that's how you make your own automated scoring system. I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. If this has helped you out in any way with any creating things. You know, the creative mode maps that you guys are going to be developing. Let me know in the comments. Uh, let me know if there's anything you want me to try to do on any more tutorials. And yeah, that's it, man. So make sure you smash the like button and subscribe to my channel if you're new. I really appreciate it. I will see you guys next one. Yeah, get your hand out of my pocket. Whose man's is this? Why is they stocking? Damn, you big man, homie. What you looking at?